What's up everybody, welcome to Midiverse TV. Today we're going to be checking out a series of DIY video synthesizer modules from LZX Industries. This is the Cadet series. So we just recently finished building all of the modules in the Cadet series. So I thought I would go over them one by one to demonstrate the functionality of each individual module. So starting all the way at the left side here, this is the sync generator. So this module is in charge of all the timing information for the video synthesizer, or it can also sync to an external source. So from top to bottom, we have horizontal sync output, vertical sync output, frame sync output. There's a switch for NTSC or PAL video formats. And then we have a sync input and then a through output. Both of those are in the form of RCA jacks at the bottom there. There's also a ribbon cable on the back of this module, and that connects to several other modules in this system and provides sync signals to them behind the panel. So for example, the RGB encoder, the ramp generator, and the voltage controlled oscillators are all connected to the ribbon cable. So the second module in the series is the RGB encoder. So this is your main output module. There's three different inputs, one for red, green, and blue. Then there's a switch here for NTSC or PAL video formats. And then there's two RCA video outputs at the bottom. So you can plug into your display there. So if we use the voltage generator from the processor module, as we slowly raise it to one volt, you'll see the screen goes red if it's plugged into the red input, green for the green input, and of course blue for the blue input. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So the third module here is the video input. So from top to bottom, we have brightness, contrast, a luminance output, so that would be the monochromatic video output. And then you have a video input, RCA jack, and then a through video output. So if we plug our camera into the input and then take the output and plug it into the sync generator, then that will sync up our entire video synthesizer to the camera. So this is what allows us to have the video signal on the screen and then also keep our oscillators and ramp generators stable on the screen as well because they share the same sync signals this way. So if we take the luminance output and plug it into the red input on our RGB encoder here, you can see the monochromatic output of our camera here. So we can mess around with the brightness and contrast controls. So if we take the luminance output and then run it to our molt here, we're going to copy that signal and send it to red, green, and blue all at the same time. And then you see here we have like a, a sort of a black and white image. And again, we'll mess around with our brightness and contrast controls here. So the next module is number four, the ramp generator. So from top to bottom here, we have horizontal ramps from left, right, and then in the center. And then at the bottom, we have vertical ramps from top, bottom, and then again in the center. So we'll go ahead and plug one of these ramps right into the red input. There's the green input, there's blue. So you can see it sort of fades from one side to the other. So if we plug it into the processor module here, we can fade from one side to the other. There we go. So again, there's the left ramp, there's the right, and then here's the center. If we plug the center into a processor module, then we can sort of fade to the center here. And then at the bottom here, we have from the top, 
from the bottom and then again in the center. So that's the ramp generator. So next up here is number five. This is the scalar module. So this has four inputs and four outputs. And this is used to convert audio and CV signals from the rest of our system into the format that the video synthesizer uses, which is between zero and one volt. There's a couple different ways you can build this depending on what voltage levels you're looking to convert from. I believe this one is from negative five to plus five volts will be converted to zero to one volt. So we'll talk about this module in a little bit here when we bring in some signals from our audio system. So next up here is the fader module. This is a voltage controlled video crossfader. So from top to bottom, we have the potentiometer to select between the sources. The next potentiometer is an attenuverter for the CV input. Then we have our CV input, our two different source inputs, and then the final output at the bottom. So we're gonna take one of our ramps and plug it into the A input. And then we're gonna select another one and plug it into the B input. And then we're going to take our output and plug it into the red input on the encoder module. As we sweep between our A and B input, it sort of gives off a rotational effect. So now we'll show off the voltage control. So we're going to take an LFO output and plug it into our scaler. And then we're going to take the output of that and plug it into our CV input. And then now we have voltage control over the crossfade, which will run at the rate of the LFO. Next up is number seven, that's the processor module. And we have three of them up at the top here. So this is a two channel mixer. So we have our input, our through input, and then an output. So if we plug two different ramps into them, we can sort of manually fade between them and use our voltage offset to get different shapes. And since this module is a voltage processor, you can also just use it without any inputs. So we're gonna take the output and plug it into the green input on our encoder. And as we use the voltage offset, we can sort of get varying shades of color here. plug this one into the blue and again we can get different shades going on as the colors overlap next up is number eight it's the hard key generator so from top to bottom we have a potentiometer for the threshold we have our CV attenuverter we have our CV input our key input a negative output and then a positive output so I think the easiest way to demonstrate what this module does is with a camera. So we're going to use our luminance output from module number three and plug that into the key input. Then we're going to take the negative output and plug it into the red input on our encoder. And as I adjust the threshold here, you see the screen change. Then we're going to take the positive output and plug it into the green input on our encoder. There's blue. And again, as we adjust the threshold here, you can see the different layers.
So we're gonna show off the voltage control abilities for that. So again, we're gonna take our LFO and plug it into our CV input. So yeah, the brightness and contrast controls on module number three, as well as the threshold on the hard key generator all kind of work together as it allows more light through. And then instead of plugging this right into the RGB encoder, we can of course go to the processor first. Module number nine in the series is the voltage controlled oscillator. So from top to bottom, we have a frequency potentiometer. There's a sync switch to flip the sync on and off. And then there's another switch below that for horizontal or vertical. Then we have an attenuverter for the CV input, or CV input, and then lastly, the oscillator output. So here if we flip the sync switch off, you see what happens there. And sometimes you can get it to stay steady on the screen, but a lot of times you'll get these weird scrolling effects or whatnot, as it's not in sync with the television or display you're using. And we'll flip the switch back on. Then there, there's the vertical and horizontal switch. We're gonna take our LFO, plug it into the scaler, and then take that output and plug it into the CV input on the oscillator. Now you see it matches the rate of the LFO. So using the processor, you can sort of fade them in and out, make the lines bigger or smaller. So if you take one oscillator and plug it into the input on the processor, another oscillator and plug it into the through, and then flip one of your oscillators to horizontal, one the vertical. We're gonna plug it into the red input on the encoder. And as you see here where the oscillators overlap, you can get these sort of diamond shapes. As we use the offset on the processor, you can get different patterns going on. As we change the frequency of the VCO, we can sort of move the shapes around the screen. So again, we're gonna take some CV from our audio system, plug it into the scaler, and then we're gonna molt that and plug it into both of the VCOs. That way they're sharing the same modulation signal. Set them about the same here. And that's what it looks like. So of course, as we speed our LFO up, we can get some weird stuff going on. And lastly here is the multiplier. So this is a variation of the fader module 
with a two quadrant and four quadrant multiplier. So we're gonna take our camera, plug it into the input, take the output, and plug it right into the red input on the encoder. So here we're gonna send an LFO to it, and you see the brightness or the sort of amount of signal is being changed. So it's a way that you can turn signals on and off. So here's a quick patch using some of the different modules and techniques that we talked about. Thanks for watching this episode of Midiverse TV. You can check us out at midiverse.tv.blogspot.com and you can also add us on Twitter. Thanks. Peace.